All right. Hey, folks. Uh, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a question that has to do with uh, rigid transformations and uh, interpreting uh, graphs, uh, shapes, and and uh, and the such. So I'm going to pull a couple questions here, and this one's going to be coming from CPM's uh, Course Three, uh, Section Six Point One Point Two, and I'm going to be looking at Six Twelve and Six Thirteen because they're they're connected and related. So here we go. Uh, on graph paper, draw a coordinate graph with X and Y axes, which I already have here. So you may have to pull some graph paper out if you don't have graph paper and, and put that. But I've got my graph here. So put in your X and Y. This is my Y axis. This is my X axis. It wants me to graph these shapes. Graph shape A, B, and C as described below. So here's my shapes. So I'm going to graph A. How do I graph this shape? Well, first of all, it says it's a triangle. And these are the vertices. So Remember, on an X and Y plane, right, your X is always your horizontal axis, and it's, it's a number line. So the center is always zero, and then you have one, two, three, and so on and so forth in the positive direction. And then this is negative one, negative two, negative three in the negative direction. That's your X axis. The Y axis is, is exactly the same, except it's turned. It's, it's flipped up. So your axis here is one two, three, four, and so on and forth going up in a positive direction, and then negative one, negative two, negative three going down in the negative direction. So just so you get a sense of what, how the axes work. So let's, let's graph our first shape A. So shape A is a triangle with vertices one, one. So remember your vertices always are uh, coordinates, right? Coordinates are X comma Y. Your X is first, then your Y. So 1, 1 would be at where X is 1 and Y is 1. So that right there is 1, 1. Then 3, 3 is where the X is 3 and the Y is 3. And that those two connect there. And then 2, 4 is where the X is 2, right? X, Y. So 2 and then 4 right there. So this would be my triangle. So then I'd want to connect my vertices, do my best to draw nice straight lines might be helpful to actually get a ruler out. I'm going to do that. A little ruler to make sure my points are nice and straight. My lines are straight, connected. Okay, so I've got, this is my triangle, and that is shape A. So I'm going to call that A. All right. Now, shape B, it says, is a square. So with these vertices. So again, our vertices, X, Y, is every point. So for this one, 2, 1, 2 negative one, right? The X is two, the Y is negative one. So at two for the X, negative one for the Y is right there. Four is the X, negative one is the Y. So four on the X is here and negative one on the Y is there. The next one is two, negative three. So two on the X, negative three on the Y. So again, two, negative three. And then the last one, four, negative three. So that's right there. This is where X is four, and y is negative three and that meets there so that is my shape and that shape is a square and the last shape and we call that one b or, and then last one is c c is a rectangle rectangle being these are my vertices once again all the vertices are x comma y so the x is negative three so here's on the x-axis right so these are the negative x's this direction so negative three one and the y is one that point happens to be right there negative three positive four right so negative three on the x positive four on the y meets right there negative one on the x so that's negative one on the x four on the y would be right here right negative one on the x four on the y and the last one negative one one right there so that's the rectangle that they want me to draw and that would be considered shape C. So I've got my A, B, and C. That's 12. But I wanted to include 13 because it tells me to do something with this. So 13 says, on the same grid you used in problem 612, translate triangle A four units to the right and three units up to create triangle D. So this is now where we're going to do a translation, a rigid transformation. So first of all, it was just graphing points to come up with our shapes and connect our dots. Next is now a translation. So 
it wants me to take and translate. So my move is to translate, to slide. Remember, translate means slide. And I'm going to slide the triangle four units to the right and three units up. So four units to the right and three units up. What what and I'm gonna I'm gonna just show us a little here that four units to the right means so this is this is a translation. So this is translating, and I'm gonna show you the, the technical uh, algebra here that we would use. The notation would be x plus four, because you're taking each of the x's and you're going four to the right. You're going four positive to the right is positive, that direction, positive. And then for the y, you're going up. So that also is positive. So the y, you're going at y plus 3. So this is the move we're making. So every one of these points, so that point there, I'm going to go over three, over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3. So that, that point there is now here, right? This point going 1, 2, 3, 4 over, 1, 2, 3 up. Now it's there. That point going one, two, three over, excuse me, four over, one, two, three, four over, one, two, three up. So notice these points, when I connect my dots, I should have the exact same looking triangle, just in a different position on the graph. If I moved each point according to what it said. So each point, each X was moved plus four on the X plus three on the Y. And, and let me just show that the coordinates on this one, right? We already graphed this. The coordinates for shape A, this one was uh, 3, 3, right? So 3, 3. The new point is here. Well, if I take my X and I add 4 to it, I should be at 7. And then take my Y and add 3, 6. Well, am I? So 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, I'm at, I'm at where X equals 7. And then 5, 6, this direction, I'm at where y equals 6. So every point, <clears throat> the x you add 4, the y you add 3. That's what the translation tells me to do. So this one here would be this one here would be if I'm starting at 1, 1. It would be at 5, 4. And if this one, this point was at 2, 4, I'm at now uh, add 4, I'm at 6, add 3, I'm at 6, 7. So those are the, the new coordinates. And that's what they want me to write. Write the coordinates in the new vertices. I just did. So we're good with that one. Okay. All right. There you go.